Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. And in the second part, we'll talk about more in-depth knowledge of Volume Max, which will be a lot of fun. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, in the first part, we converted this image in a three-dimensional depth and let's reset the After Effects and then talk about the rest of the part. So the after effect is completely resetted right now and as I told in the first part we have to import our image so just click and drag into this composition so now we have our environment image because we have to convert this environment in a 3d way so just right click and obviously you have to transform and fit to screen so this much thing we have covered on the first tutorial so okay and the last part we covered this 3d portrait tool and now you covered this smart mask tools yes just turn this on and just we can see the one displacement map which is pre-ready will coming up something like that so just double click here so what happened you can find the options is called smart mask tools and create masks here so whatever you have to do just click here in fact it will double click here so just double click the composition will open here something like that now you can find some instructions is here so it's called like create mask in layers close mid and far you can create create up to three masks per layer it means like each and every layer you can exactly create three masks in any time okay so now you have to divide your images like far mid and so much close so now as you can find this is a close mask this is a mid mask and this is a far mask so let's start with the close mask so click this mask and go to the pen tool now you have to cut out the close one here so in this case I'll consider this area as my close mask so what you have to do just select from the outside of this panel and you have to roughly draw a shapes until this area should be covered on this so we'll cover this foreground hill and this foreground hill to our close mask so now we have created this close mask and now you have to go to the mid mask so just click this mid mask option now in this case we'll cover this hill and also this small hill in this mid mask and obviously the far mask will be covered for the rest of the areas okay so let's draw the shapes first guys now as you can see the three depth are completely done this is a close one this is a mid one and this will be calculated our far one yes now as the information says once the finish you have to go back to the smart mask tool composition so what is the smart mask tool which is this one so just click the smart mask tool and it will jump to here okay now if you find you can see this options called like floor which is optional so just click this floor one and you can find this area will popped up here just click the move tool so what is exactly floor so we will consider this water surface as a floor so now select this one and drag it to here so now as you can see one floor kind of thing will be coming up here so it means the water will be projected on this area yes so this is optional because not necessary that in every frame you have to find this floor panel so if there is no floor you just no need to add this panel okay so now if you find there are so many other options like blur zone lighten zone darken zone if, if you want to create some areas to be blurred lighten zone and darken zone it's same like our last tutorial as i told like foreground object like background object same and again if you still not watch link is in description box below i prefer please go and watch that first and then come and join this video now you can find these two help one and help two let me show you what exactly it is so when you turn on this help one you can exactly see what is exactly the brighten zone and exactly the darken zone so this is bright and this is called a dark zone you can exactly create marks to create some areas to be brightened and to be softened so the output should be look like this when you are using this bright and dark one and the second one we talk about this floor one as i told if there is any recessive floor you can exactly create floor to create a very good far depth okay so now we have created successfully our depth map so now exactly what we have to do whenever it's done we have to go to the, our main 4k comp but before that we can check our displacement map so just click here this displacement map option you can exactly see your map will completely look like this which is so amazing with a very good floor depth as well now you have to go to the main comp here where you can take some time to load it for the very first time and yes this is it so now guys we have our composition ready with a null tool and obviously it was same like last tutorial i will not cover the all the details but yes i will show you how it will look like so when you click this null tool and you will move it here you can exactly see some very good 3d depth yes Yes, guys it looks so realistic the 3d depths are also looking so natural and also be a super realistic see if you move it to left and right top or bottom you can exactly see the very good 3d depth now you can zoom it here as well there's a slider called simple zoom so if you zoom it 
it's exactly zoom in inside so if you can move into this composition you can exactly do whatever you want to do with this if you're going to like top to bottom animation if you can left to right you can cool, cool parallax system if you want to create some flare selector as well just increase the flare and increase the flare sliders from this area and exactly when you move it it's feel like it's oh super realistic so guys this is all in part one in part two and i hope you really enjoyed this short simple crips and super sexy tutorial from vfx world by using volumax and if you really love our tutorials then don't forget to like comment and share and also follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world